Hello everyone, I hope that you're doing really well today. In today's video, I thought I will share with you the cluttering mistakes that I have done and I wish I would have known about it when I started my decluttering journey. Knowing these things would have definitely made my decluttering experience a little bit easier, but I guess this is how we learn through experience. I know that many of us are striving to create this beautiful home that is peaceful, clean and tidy. However, if you have a family, that is very hard to achieve. It's much easier when you don't have kids to keep everything in place. The main idea of decluttering and minimalism overall is to have a things that you love, that are functional and that you don't have anything that distracts you from achieving joy and having a good time in your home. If you are decluttering now or if you are thinking of doing that, one thing that I would suggest you to keep in mind to get rid of stuff when you want it. Me personally, it took roughly two years to really start decluttering and getting rid of my stuff because what I was doing previously was just replacing my things from one place to another. I would be putting my things from most common use places into a storage, thinking that I will be needing it later, but I never actually did and it just stayed in storage for years. If you come across the item that you want to get rid of, don't put it back where it belongs. Just put it into a separate box or bag, any designated area for donations and for getting rid of stuff. Because if you put it back, it tends to stay there for a really long time. This is what happens at the beginning. We are not very courageous in getting rid of a lot of stuff. And if you have items that you're not sure of, if you want to donate, if you want to get rid of, if you feel a little bit more sentimental, just put it into a maybe box. Store it there, put a date and just keep it for whatever time you think it's suitable for a month, for six months, for a year. This will be the time that you will know that that's it, that's enough. You had it for long enough, you did not use it and it's time to part of the item. My next decluttering mistake is not to sell stuff fast enough. I have gathered lots of things that I wanted to sell in one place and I thought I will sell it soon enough and get some money to start up the savings. But what happened was that I put up some items, it didn't sell and then I relisted it on eBay, it didn't sell and I kept on uh, clinging on to it thinking that I will sell it one day, maybe I'll go to a car boot sale and sell it there. So I think a good idea for us if we want to get rid of stuff, this is the fundamental thing that we want to do is to get rid of stuff. So if you feel that some of your items are worthy of selling, give yourself a deadline. Let's say, say, okay, within a month or within two, if I don't sell it, then it's just going to charity. Don't hold on to stuff thinking that it will sell one day because it's still cluttering your space and you are not doing the main thing that you wanted to do to declutter. My next tip derives from this tip. If you want to sell your stuff as you are putting it away, no matter of the picture quality, just start making pictures right away. So don't think that you will gather this stuff and you will make pictures later because this usually never happens. You don't tend to find time. At least that's what happened to me. And I have gathered a lot of things that I wanted to sell, but I never made pictures. Therefore, I never listed it anywhere. And it was just piling up. It was staying in my storage and still cluttering the space. My next step is just to be easy on yourself. Don't be hard on yourself and don't compare yourself with others. There are a lot of YouTubers, a lot of bloggers and lots of pictures on Pinterest that are very inspiring but probably those people are in a different state, in different situation than you are. Some homes that you see are of single people and if you have kids that would be very hard to maintain and that could bring you frustration because you're not able to achieve these things so look up to people who are in a very similar situation like you and see if they can inspire you it's all fine we're all different so we definitely can find someone 
who matches us and see how they do it see if you can find some inspiration behind that but don't try to keep up with the joneses clear that clutter around you and be sure you're not alone in this decluttering game there are lots of families a lot of individuals who are going through the same thing as you my last tip for today if you want to avoid decluttering mistakes is not to spend too much money on organizational stuff because when you start decluttering when you feel very inspired to get these organization boxes and hangers and new things for your new project just look at the things that you already have and keep in mind that if you decided to declutter that means you will be getting rid of stuff and you will be having those extra organizational storage boxes that you already have get rid of things first and then think how to organize it and arrange it in a new way that is comfortable for you i hope that these tips were useful for you that you will take away something if you have any decluttering mistakes that you have done please share it with us i would love to know keep in mind we are all in this together i will see you in my next video soon bye bye for now